Look at this, baby. Tell me that Thomas Jefferson, Tommy J, old TJ, tell me this man is not quit, or I'm sorry, is not uh, equipped for any fight. Look at this guy. He's incredible. Taking social media class at the moment, my prof is so into Mastodon. God damn it. It's so crazy to me. Um, here's the most alarming thing about social networks and stuff. It's impossible virtually to pinpoint the next one, and anybody who's super horny about any other social network is only horny because they want to be able to say they were part of the first or whatever. Just wait and see what the rest of people choose. You know, I started Twitter in 2011. It's pretty late for Twitter. Or 2000 and... No, sorry. Yeah, 2011. It's pretty late. Pretty late for Twitter. But I just waited to see if it was even worth it. And I remember getting annoyed that my first tweet was something like, I can't believe I have to use this shit. You know? I just want all my ads the same. I get it. But also, um, I don't know. Digital, your digital footprint is very important. And that's kind of it. God, Elon's so fucking stupid. I just watched Glass Onion with I Kaylee. Found the pages and the map chamber. They didn't fix his I voice. The book. Um, I uh. What do now? Anyways, I watched it. It was okay. I liked the first one better, but I fucking Elon is the same as the head guy over there. He's just like, you don't disrupt shit. Wait, there's something here. Rebellion. Or not. I did play with the pitch setting, but it still layers his original voice underneath the pitch setting. And so because of I'm that. Back at Hogwarts. Oh my I wonder God. I Fig will be back. Hey, God. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose Bro. I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Wow. Harry Potter is just dark and darker, but with less dying. Anyways, I'm trying to learn how to do av avocado dab everybody in the game. Uh-oh. Well. Revelio. Ah. Okay, I can go that way. You're not tracking anything. Did somebody say Harry Pooper? No, not me. Okay, we are doing what now? I would like to do Depulso. Let's do that. Acquire and use a Focus Potion. Acquire Maxica and Darius Potions and use them simultaneously. How do I do that? I don't give a fuck about either of these. I'm saying that reject the internet is not the answer, but like, because goddamn I love the internet. But at the same time, holy shit. If you're terminally online, it's hard to realize how hard it is or like how how broken your worldview is. You just got to be you just need to be online enough. What? If I could undo all that happened that day. Rebellion. Alohomora. Alohomora. No path available for the quest. So I need to go acquire focus potions. If I want to acquire a potion, can't I just go to Hogsmeade and buy that shit because I'm rich? Baba Booey. But I'm also tired. It's the middle of the night, isn't it? Avada Kedavra. Dude, oh my god. Oh my god, I just thought of something. 100% chance people are doing Harry Potter murder speed runs. I want to see how fast you can actually kill somebody in the game. Like, wow, it only took... Um, four hours before this kid learned the murder, uh, curse. Rebellion. All right. I can teleport there, right? Yeah, let's go to the Hogsmeade map. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're going to just teleport there.
You hope they release a PC fix performance PC yeah, performance fix tomorrow. Why would they do it tomorrow? Just curious. I I don't know. But also, yeah, it would be nice to not have to play. Ah, bitch! What the fuck? I thought I was about to die. I thought I was getting swatted. I would not be good in a tense situation. She put a fucking laser pointer on the desk. I thought I was about to like get literally shot. Welcome. Hey. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Yeah, it's four in the morning. I need a focus, Maximus, and a Rudus potion. What can I do for you today? Twelve hundred. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Ah, dressed to impress, I see. Um, I hope to see you again. Well, I can't do that right now. What do I have that's unidentified? I don't understand that. What does that even mean? This? Take to the room of requirement to reveal its qualities. Where the fuck is the room of requirement, chieftain? Scroll down to buy pots. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Are you going to be an unforgiv unforgivable curse gamer? I don't know. It just feels weird to follow in the footsteps of PewDiePie, but I maybe. <laughs> How do I use these? How do I use these? Uh, LB. Oh, right. So use a focus potion. Excellent. Okay. I'm fucking, I'm literally, uh, what am I at the start of a, a 10 during the day? All right, time to go home. I'm really tired. I just turned into a rock. I turned into the thing. Hmm. Oh, man. It better get home. Where's home? Where? How? Where's my sleep? The Great Hall. God damn it, dude. Where's my fucking home? Down here? Fucking... Where do... Where the heart is? Stop. You don't have to go there to sleep? When... Uh, how do you sleep? Push it in using right most, stick? Please. Oh! Cool! Wait, flying class? Whoa, 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 whoa. Chief, not correct. Yes. Why? You drink whiskey till you pass out? <laughs> it's like really dark, actually. Nate, thank you again for the 35, though. And Maddie, thank you again for the 15. But surely those were curd or. Oh boy, can't wait to go a potion. Did my FOV get reset? No. It's just this narrow. Wait. Is my FOV backwards? Should it be... Should it be 
this way. Nope. Bro, absolutely nobody gives a shit about the storyline of this game. Also, go touch grass. Aha! Joke's on you! I fucking can't remember a thing. Are we not attending in time? Oh. Um, go to map. Oh, f oh, 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 wow, I slept here on the hard dungeon rock surface. Time to go to class. Now here's, guys, you know what this is? This is fucking moonshine. We're gonna get blitzed. <laughs> what was that? What was that? What, what, what was that little back and forth? <laughs> you know what this is, kids? How are your assignments Lean. coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, I think you should. Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a good enchanted books here. Oh. All right, let's try this out then. Depulso. Hey, de pulso. Wait. So this just fling shit, yeah? It's a force push. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. Damn. I need that to be an AoE buff. I can do that at a certain point, can't I though? Yep. Check this shit out. Look at that AOE get away from me. Okay, so now I can do the main task. Mm, probably easier to just go here and run out. Incendio has an AoE buff. I saw that. I think I went for the AoE pull and AoE push. And from there, I'm going to do... Oh, boy. It would be so cool if I could fucking do Quidditch. Too bad I get to not do that in this game. Can't wait to play the original standalone Quidditch. I just think the game doesn't make sense via physics. And they're like, this ain't fun. <laughs> Think will fall from that Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Yes, ma'am. Ain't no way this guy just Mr. is Clark twirling Bernie, it. Your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. I, only you can't see me, but I look like I'm fucking Amelia and Earhart. I look like I'm the only one ready to fly. As broom flight is first and foremost a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. <laughs> Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? 
Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need What do you mean? I, 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 I before room. I got here, Stay the only broom I had was a Swiffer. Clearly, you know? Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Me to my dick. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. <laughs> up. All right, Thomas Jefferson. This guy's such a. Wait, you think anybody ever put the. One leg over. Never mind. So there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right <laughs> no, off. What are you telling me? I can't ride like a horse queen? Like a princess? And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Oh. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do this will take, take care. some getting used to. The no, it's not. Are school property. Wish I had my own. I want them returned in one piece. Ugh. Look out! A second student has hit the tower. Well done. No. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a wow, view. what a view! Oh. Wow! Nice day for a flight! So good! You think they had to get FA clearance, FA <laughs> clearance so to like fly on brooms? How many wizards got sucked into an active turbine oh, of a passenger jet house. in Wish modern day wizard world? Crossing the lake as the first year. Everybody's so chill about literally having flight as a human. Woo! Woo! What in the fucking Disney? Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Huh. Ah. Are they gonna hit us with a rainbow as we come around here or some shit? Like this feel Jurassic Park. It is weirdly slow because they ain't on it. They're not on a Nimbus 945k RPM 2k. I know, like the brooms. Oh, well done. Have a moment. What do, you, what do you mean, have a moment? We're at class. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom. Oh, well I'm that say. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. What are you saying, but you I'm getting ahead snippy of myself. little quip? We haven't probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. Great name. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? How about you slither my balls into your mouth? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. What are you, a Follow fucking me. poet? The Fuck. tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Oh, no. Right now, Flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Wow. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Yeah, they're probably gonna hate us if we fly past the headmaster. Let's avoid that. Look out! Nice oh my god! All, isn't it? Whoa! Oh god! Oh, I oh god! Oh! Whoa! Fucking killing people. <laughs> oh my god, everybody's gonna be so upset at us. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Move. A bit claustrophobic for my taste. <laughs> the game's like, there's no failing How is here. Ever at flying so quickly? Because I'm running into walls on purpose. Shut up. Here's something handy to know lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. 
Now you <laughs> tell me? Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. Yeah, because I know it's it. not fucking structural and integrity. Look at this rap pit. I'm like, it's literally so it. rickety. Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. Oh shit! No, no! We gotta go to the quitting! Okay. Holy, they even give us the bald eagle. Oh. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. We're gonna get in trouble. How is he already over there? Dismount here. And where have you two been? <sighs> um. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. She's pissed. I'm new here. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Sorry, it's my fucking second day out here. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Thanks. Anyways, how many points are you going to take from me? My Oh my god, I, I've been in like four incidences and I'm, I'm new here. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. I hate you. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. They were not. Look at how unimpressed he is! I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. All right, Jesus. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. What if the? If you can, what? you should. Wish I could. Yeah, how much money I is that? I visiting Albie Weeks at Spint Witches in Hogsmeade. What did you just He's say? He's always looking to test new models. Spint Witches? I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Spint Witches? Sounds like something you just... Whoa. <laughs> he's, he's having some internal conflict with his pathing. Shut up, you Spint Witch! $600? The brooms are only $600? Imagine getting an entire method of transportation that requires no refueling or anything at all for $600. And flies. Way better than a bike. Spent witch. All right, we can get golden appearances. Lame, I don't care about that. I need to be level six, which I don't know what level I am. And I get some cool things. Uh, level eight. Can I do this? Am I, what level am I? I'm on like level, oh, I'm level 12, bro. Let's roll. Mate with Professor we. I'm going to try and do the most offensive um, accent possible throughout the entire playthrough. $600 was like $346,000 back then. What is $600 in 1776? And you know I like a good cold off on another adventure, are we? No. Imagine having the cardio of this kid. Like what? Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Twenty-three thousand? Yeah, so that's actually pretty reasonable. This kid, our boy casually said. There's a rumor requirement. Our room our our boy casually said, yeah, I can I'll buy a car. 
forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> oh boy, I love walking in the room. Oh man. I'm sorry, but the only the only thing that I ever thought about when they walked in here is why do people not walk out with a shit ton of stuff? Like, look, I understand you don't need that shield or any or what but I'm sorry, but I'm leaving this with it. Is the womb of requirement. Maybe there's something you can't take out. Real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Like, are now, you... Come on, look at these trunks! You must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deek, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Why is every globe spinnable? Like, that's the only interactive item in this shit. Hey, Professor, you want to see something cool? Ah! What do you think? Huh? Okay. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm gonna have to knock that away. I got this. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. I got this. Hmm. I, 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 this I got- This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco. The vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Uh, you know, big fan of all their songs, honestly. What's up, Fallen? Hmm. Uh, uh. Uh. Where is it? Why am I blind? Oh, it's right here. Oh shit! Hold on. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Are you using a good attack? What the fuck? You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. Yeah, great. We'll discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Yeah, that's actually way better than I thought it would be. Okay. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Hmm. I don't know, but I see some reused assets. Is that goodness? I waited My you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than expected. Let me know if you try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until what? we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. What'd you say? What'd you say? I literally did not hear you. <sighs> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Incendio. That's what you get. If I was not running, that would have been scary. Oh boy, where could it be? Is it here? Oh, no, probably not. Oh, probably. Oh, oh, probably this. Whoop! What's up here? Oh, whoopa! Hey, hey, can we? You wanna sit up here? What do? Oh, I can do. Oh. What? What a hero! Hope Kitty? this isn't as precarious as it looks. You wanna hop up? What do you want, fat ass? You just staring at me? Your breast stank. Stop them! Who? Who? Insane. Me? No, oh. Not, uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pirate. <laughs> well.
bit offended. The room thought I needed a bath cheeky thing. That's tough. Kitty is scratching everything, please. There's just a whole- Oh! Pretty! We love good soft red lighting. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Well, you're doing just fine. Okay. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Yeah, I just saw him fly around. Too bad Quidditch is canceled. You should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> At him. No? Maybe it was just to move it away? Can I just take one of these brooms? Why do I have to spend- Oh! Where's Harry's broom? Oh, it's not yet that time, obviously, but hey. This is all the quitted shit. Man, if only they gave it to us, huh? There's nothing I can do in here. How do you think I'm supposed to get over there? Uh Revelio. Am I dumb? Maybe it's I just hope that the house elf can find us in there. No. Pull through the- on the inside? Pull out through on the inside? Well... Accio. You can't pull the box inside. Can't go up there. Can I pull the box inside? Alright, I can. Oh? I mean, you saw how he jumped before. So you would just assume that it would be very easy. If only you could levitate things. Oh, no way. Wait, I didn't even think about that. No way, though. Hmm. Pull a box chest towards the opening. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, that one is way better. No! Levitate it more? You can't. No, you will not go to jail if you start your song with uh, your stream with a nightcore song. Yeah. 
Absolutely cheese for sure. No way that was the intended thing. Hello? Yikes, careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. What? Uh, um. Hello. <laughs> what the oh, hell? Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. A <laughs> deck? Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. Yeah, there's really scrote in Deke. We Are you kidding me? You might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Like that's on purpose, right? There's no way they have a scrote Deke and a Deke. The requirement will always be equipped for the seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need oh, of an extra vial for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. This voice is reverb because the they layer my the voice rest. on my pitched up voice. Me imagining a place to hang out for game day. So many questions. White a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Mm. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Well, okay. I've unlocked the desk. Okay. Anyways, point is, who the fuck put these shelves there? Like, I don't care if you're a wizard or not. What the hell? You can immediately vanish all the point. I'm stealing it all! Yes! Anyways, um... Like what you've done with the place. Geometric house cloak and a tan cloak? Hell yes. Look at these two items that I've just gotten. These are what I'm all... This is the drip. Okay. Unironically pretty suave. Uh... I mean, I think it's okay. This one's cooler though. It's $200 sell value, good lord. It's all right, I'll keep it on for now. Um. Okay, I guess. And then I have a scarf. It just sucks at how, ew. It just sucks how frequently you need to change your gear right now. Just because of how, uh, <laughs> just because of how often you're losing like your shit. Oh, 
Holy fuck, I don't care about any of you. There's so many side quests. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Thank you. Is that it? I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring. Is objects. this whole game a tutorial? Yes. I'll teach you. So far. But this is important because once I do this, I'm sure I'm going to get to go learn how to kill people in game. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? Resources. More resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands. It's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. Ah, uh, cool. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. Okay. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? I just want to kill can things. Indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since it's they'll resemble the ones printing. you already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Oh boy, I'm gonna do what they could never do in Full Metal Alchemist. I'm conjuring shit. Um... I want a gothic po- Oh my god, no way! This is- you actually have base building? Wow. Okay. Well, obviously I want to, um... Wow, this is really great. Holy shit. Uh. Right there? No. Yes. Done. Can't wait for people to mod this with weeb shit. Ew. Yeah, I just don't know if they uh, put a lot of effort into making this look as customizable well, as I thought they would, but who you cares? Whenever you need to Holy fuck, potions, how many do I need plots. to make? Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Oh, shit, furniture! What else? Seasonal decorations! Fucking paintings! Give me a head! All right, whatever, I'm done. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Okay. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here. I'm ready for the next lesson, Would you say Professor. Deke? Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Okay, how much is it? 
I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Let's go! Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Oh! Finally! Fucking chairs? Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, first things first, guys. Let's get this... Let's get a nice... Ew. Uh, uh. It's alright. There you go. Nice, really solid shit. And then, and then, you know, we we got the uh, candelabra. Ew. It uh, warms Deke's heart to see a student so comfortable. Hogwarts house flipper? I know. Oh! See, this is nice. Look at that. Huh? It's actually not half bad. I don't know how much moonstone you're gonna need to use for all this stuff, but I've just gotta. Uh, who do we want in here? Listen. There you go. Have fun. The amount of features they packed in this game without feeling completely half assed. Yeah, it's like half assed, but not that. I don't know how to explain it. It is half assed, but it does feel. Oh shit. It does feel, uh, it's like forgivable, I guess I'll call it. Like, I don't feel as if, so if I do this, how do I move things? I don't know. It's whole ass, but it feels all right. Not that impactful, Professor, yes. I have some questions about conjuration. Yes? Could be better, but whatever. Actually, I don't think I have any questions. I'm here if you do. Yeah, I'm sure you're gonna learn more. All right, okay. Oh, I need to conjure the wall decorations. I didn't realize. Uh. Okay. I need fucking five? What the dick? You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't care about this this much. But, like, this does seem like it gives... Like, it makes it not as annoying as it could be, but it's still kind of annoying. Oh, too big. Gotta find a different wall. That one goes up there. Shall we move on? Yes, we can move on. You can change the size, okay. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Okay. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Has anybody ever failed one of these? Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Okay, altering spell. You've been practicing. Oh. Wait, you can change the floor. Holy shit. They cannot believe how many beasts you have here. And this is how you move it, I gotcha. Interesting, okay. That it? Change? Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. 
Deke, shut the fuck up. Like, seriously. Kaylee f failed her first one? Okay, well, listen. It happens to the best of us. The size of an item. Oh, shit. Much better. Alter the style. Nicely done. Thank you, now Professor. You're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs. On it's the a floor tiger, not a crane. <laughs> oh no. Alter, alter the balcony or the floor of the room. See, this is what I'm talking about now. Holy! Consider this cool. Your space might benefit from a bit of ombre. Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of music so years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. What the hell? That's pretty cool. Akio. It uh, warms Deke's heart to see a student so comfortable. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Interior design, Deke. A cool moonlit. Natural and earthy. Dark and mysterious moonlit. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Hey, yo. Sick. Nice! Very cool. Mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter time how for much party. time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. It's me looking for a new home. I just decide to live there. Too big of a room. An even bigger space. I don't want that big! How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice What the custom. fuck? If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Well, it looks like I'm gonna Thank have a you, gothic hall of fucking... That's pretty interesting. Good. I'll leave you to but it. But still, the vibes are... This is your space now. Are... Use it wisely. Vibes are not immaculate. <laughs> Like, look at how wide this shit is. I mean, it is pretty gnarly that it's just like... <laughs> Not bad. It is too big, though. That's what I said. I was like, all right. Interesting. Cool that they let you do this, but also, like, this is for them people. Like, how much time are you spending in here? These are for the people. These are for, like, the... These are for the, the hog. Warts lovers. The hoggers. Purchase a broom. Defindo. What is Defindo? Is that good? Let's get a broom. 
cutting? Oh, let's use that and cut some bitches up, you know? Sometimes the pulse push pushes people uh, away. Oh, hey. new face. What Shut up. Hey. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Yeah. Wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional this man's a used quality car and performance. Um, oh, 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 Sounds okay. quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Perfect, uh, perfect broom with a fiery, fiery temperament. Ch enchanted with, ha uh, ugh. moon, stability. Uh, which one is good? Uh-oh. I'm broke. Nice doing business with you. How unconventional. Um Thanks for stopping by. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Choose the first one. That's what I was gonna go for, but who cares? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise I'll you. I'll be thrilled. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Oh! Go on. You talking about broom uh, dick pills? I right about you. Hmm? <laughs> I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. Oh. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom ah. behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I want spinners. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade I want also truck enhance nuts. brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Okay, thank you. Let's go. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Literally gonna shit all over her time. It's not even gonna be fair. Look for the no flying on the mini map. Hmm. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Let me get out of here. <laughs> Oh shit! Wow, this is so much better. I'm gonna shit myself, it's fucking cold. Imagine flying back in the rain. It's gotta be super upsetting. with one layer on, and it's an entirely cotton. If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Shut up. 
I'm here. And I'm re- Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Hey. Hello, Imelda. I'll be weak, sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. And that was the end of that. The nerve. Okay. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. You sound jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you. Okay. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. Oh. Okay. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps oh, okay. I am competition. Yeah, you, you ever heard of Thomas Jefferson? These days. <laughs> Ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. One of? Let's see if you can beat it. One of. Slytherin versus Slytherin. What? Slytherin versus Slytherin. You said one of, not Actually, the? Okay, not? that's embarrassing. I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Bitch, there ain't no... There ain't no fucking Quidditch right now. Missions popping up as I'm doing this. Like, look in the look in the world. What if it's what if I stopped in the middle and just did it? Success. Success. <laughs> <laughs> I'm popping bubbles. I think I win. It's raining my fucking jammies. No. <laughs> it's so wet out. That's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh. Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Okay. I don't want your respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. All right. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Okay. JBK, thanks for the 52 months. <laughs> I'm trying to make it faster to mount. But yeah. I mean, honestly, I it's not... Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. It's not bad at all. Um, Let me look at my quest real quick. See what we got going on. I gotta return to him. Mad cause bad? She is, yeah. Mr. Weeks. Albie. Albie! 
What's up with your character? Why you look like that? You are fucking rude. I'm a period based okay, character. Here I come. Oh, the texture? I don't know. Ugh. Oh, hey. you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Wheats, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed Drifted, to know. Drifted, eh? Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. <laughs> the, even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Me too. Expect I'm excited. Expect to hear from me soon. Zalithia, hmm. thanks for the six How months. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? How how unconventional. Can I buy shit from you? Today? Why buy another broom just to have it? Thanks for stopping by. My, Hope to see you again. <laughs> my voice has a flanger for a wide variety of reasons, okay? Let it be. Um, let's go to the map. Hoggy. Twenty one, why you got a four room garage. You know what's funny? How nice to see People kinda you, forgot, but twenty one Savage is from the UK. What the hell? Oh over here. Hey. I know, I've been here waiting, Sebastian. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. What I'm not was sure here missing? is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a yeah, moment. Yeah, you can believe In people. the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Pretty sure you get the good stuff from this NPC? I know. He he seems like a real There's rapscallion. There's a passage just here. It's well disguised. Right next to the skull? Oh, um... Is this the secret passageway? Okay, bye! How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. You played she gobstones? Loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. Oh, wait. Is I she should dead? tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Okay. He never confides in anyone, but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. Hey, what's in we here? used to sneak in here almost daily. Revelio. We've never been caught. Never? Hey, what's in here? <gasps> Quidditch goggles! <laughs> hey, what's in here? Oh my god, a nice tasseled cuff. Koofy. Who is ominous? I have no idea. I can't remember. I got the the blue gloves, the Quidditch goggles. These ones are better than these. Oh no, they're not. And they have a trait applied, or they can have a trait applied. How do you apply a trait to things? Oh, the blind guy. Later on, got it. 
Your eyes are so far apart you can see both sides of an argument. Rebellion. That's so fucked up. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Uh-oh. Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. That's ridiculous! A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Yeah. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. Oh, God. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. This kid's not going to grow up it. to be a problem at all. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. Arson the magic. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Damn, I'm gonna hit him with the Zoro. You're getting it. Ready. You try it out. Yeah. You ready? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep on the <laughs> Oh, yeah, have a oh. Go at those candelabras. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both have their uses. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That doesn't seem normal. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Jesus. Sebastian. I have to say, I enjoyed that. Uh -oh. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. All right, I'm ready for more spells. This is like exactly this. the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. What I'm happened sorry to about her, sister? I can't remember. There's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Me, Tan. She could use some cheering up. I don't want to impose. If your sister is unwell, she may not want visitors. Meeting a new student will be oh. precisely what she needs. Trust me. She misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Very oh, well. No. Let me know when and I'll meet you. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. And I did. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Sorry, guys, I got a text for...
Okay, sorry. Uh, I'm not ready to the tell you. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. No, it had to do with the Night That's Mode trailer. It. The season Pity. trailer that, that we got is, so is a 40-hour render. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, so we're keep trying to this get place between us. that sorted. It's really, really when tight. I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. But we've got it's. We're hoping to build on it next year, next season too. It's not my forty ninety. It's a very talented three D artist. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common uh -oh. room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Hmm. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian uh. told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. Oh! I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Okay. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Mm. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Okay. Wow. Well- Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Yeah? Well, I'd say maybe, uh... I'd say maybe if you chill out, you'll see why he's a better friend, but uh, you can't see shit, so have fun. Asshole. Where are we going now? Let's go to... Uh, improve your magical abilities to access the next trial. So let's go do defend. Let's do this, but I need pots. Oh, um. No. Nope. See, you're not dressed. What? No, 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 no. I'm no. I'm. This is it. This is it. This is the drip. What's the problem? Hello, Zenobia. What did you need help with? I need someone to collect my gobstones that have been hidden in very high places all over the school. Oh, I fucking hate this. Sorry. Forgot about that. Good for you. Jesus. Hey, what's the legality of throwing out band curses in the middle of Hogwarts, huh? I yeah! You be able to help me with a small, uh, project. Your name's Duncan Hobhouse. That's weird. No. <laughs> Made up to that good. Thought as much. Okay. Uh, why is this? Now that Professor Fig has returned, I'm excited to show him the missing pages in the secret map chamber. Is that really the quest that I'm on right now? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh! I want Wingardium Leviosa! The Finido! I just, I'm gonna be a whore for this shit. Should we do Wingardium Leviosa? Or should we do... I'm overleveled. Am I ever gonna use Wingardium Leviosa? For the meme. Oh. It's just like shit that I have to use. Invisibility and Thunder Brew Potion against enemies. That's just like a side thing. Okay. I don't know what's the difference between Leviosa and Leviosa. I'm sure it's probably... Actually, if I go to Hogsmeade and just buy the thing. Um, I'm sure that it has something to do with... Where's the potion? I'm sure it has something to do with, like, the strength of it. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Sometimes it seems all roads go to Hogsmeade. Hey, Pippin! Oh, P-Man! In the market for potions, are we? 
Yes. What can I do for you today? Tell you what you can do me for. A thousand for a thunder blur and five hundred for an invis pot. Might as well just buy the fucking thing then, yeah? Damn. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I guess I could get money from his delivery. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Okay. I'd be happy to she help She does with the seem delivery. annoying, though. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you it's too like dog much shit. trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. She's- he's like a cook! What the fuck? This bitch said just down the road? He said just down the road! He said just down the road! Don't worry, I am gonna fl I am gonna fly there. And then let's do Oh. We're dap dip dap dap dip 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 go here. My guy, it's snowing. Are you cold? It's 40 degrees outside. I thought, I'm not gonna lie, I thought from this angle, my broom kind of looked like a car 98. I don't know. I played too much Call of Duty. Hold on, can you look through windows? No shot, right? You're just hanging out and all of a sudden you just get, you just see somebody fly into your shit. Oh my God. Imagine hoofing it. Forty is hot, forty is warm for snow, forty is burny. You know, forty is, uh, is too warm for snow even if it's Fahrenheit, so I don't know why I said that. What happened? Can you stall out? Oh god, oh god, oh god! Ah! 40 Kelvin? Can I do drive-bys? I don't have reveal. I don't have upgraded scan, no. What? Oh, hell no! Best part about this game is dismounting. Ready? Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough, doesn't it? Look at that. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, All right, did you're he? kind of a bitch, but okay, Always thank you. Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. I would, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to earn money. Well. I'm a kid in Doesn't school. Matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Thanks. 
Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? Yes. I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Okay. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Um. <laughs> nice clothes. <laughs> it seems to have What worked. did you just say? Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? <laughs> have you said? Hey, have chance. you considered not being that so difficult? Well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, You're so standing. It's it. raining outside. I'm not... It's literally raining outside. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Thanks. I should be going now. Thank you. All right, I need Rebellion. to find... Perfect. Could it be a Merlin trial? A Merlin trial! These people are out here hanging out, having a normal night, and I throw some fucking leaves on a big disc, and all of a sudden, BAM! What exactly happens here now? I don't know. Um. Hmm. Also. <laughs> Shit. Ah. Uh. 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 Oh shit. Akio. Hold on. Oh no. Oh no. I think I fucked it. Night clothes. Hmm. Unusual choice. The pulsa. Shit. Akio. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Real Sisyphus type moment. Akio. Yeah. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Is it? <sighs> Come on, the bitch! Okay. He doesn't know? Wait. No, is this not supposed to go here? No shot, right? It has to. I have to open it or something? What do I do here? Hmm. Is it just not on the middle? There's like a hole in the ground up. Oh, I didn't know that. Here.
Is there? All right, so there's that. I don't see the hole in the ground. Yeah, the ball did respawn. Uh, okay. Oh, I see it. Over there. Oh, oh gotta play fucking golf! Rebellion. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Fuck! Sorry. Merlin's trials shimmer green. I did not upgrade my force push or anything. Oh, I did. I upgraded this, but like the problem is that it's an AOE now. Bro, fucking aim. It's an AOE push. It's just, you know. Aim the AOE. What's the matter? It all just goes straight. You think it makes it stronger? Nope. One more week to abuse this staff account. Oh, God. I'm going to miss you. This guy's, they're like, I'm trying to sleep. What are you up to now? Nothing. Something's wrong with this ball, dude. It's not rolling at all. Like, shouldn't it roll down the hill? Like, what's happening? <laughs> like, roll! Don't you want to go home? <laughs> that was worth it, right, guys? Wow, so worth it. I know I actually got gazeboed. Rolling eggs. Thanks for the 11 months. Welcome back. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? So for hundreds of years, nobody put the big ball in the big hole. No, they probably tried, but they never did it by throwing the leaves it on it. Potions. Have a good look around. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Give me more money, bitch! It was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Keenbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? Hmm. Well. Oh, I had no idea it was hers. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. Sorry. Anyways, um. I got a fucking potioneer cap. Sick. All right, let's go back to Hoggy Warts. 
I don't know. I just tried to make my character look like Thomas Jefferson, dude. You know, it's like not that deep. I just like I, I I'm I'm a fucking un, Long John wearing Tommy J stand. You know, it's 1700s Hogwarts. 